Hi everyone and welcome to the happy heart. I'm so glad you guys came back for another new video. This one is my quick, easy, Americanized Mexican tacos. So this is something I make at least once a week. I either make it on Tuesdays for Taco Tuesday or I make it on Wednesday um, when we have church events and we need like a quick meal fast. So this meal takes hardly any time and it's always easy and I always seem to have the ingredients on hand. So let me show you guys what you need to make these quick easy tacos. Topping wise, I always just shred up some lettuce and I cut up some grape or cherry tomatoes. I use whatever cheese I have on hand. I happen to have this um, like Mexican blend, but most of the time I just use regular cheddar. I tend to use corn tortillas and I'll show you how I make hard um, shells with those. I usually make just ground beef tacos and I make one pound for my family of three and this will make us plenty of tacos plus leftovers. I season it with Lowry seasoning salt and this is just a brand that I like of seasoned salt. And who can forget some good old-fashioned salt and pepper. So let's get started and I'll show you guys how I make these. Now that we have our beef all made, our next feat is making the hard taco shells. So I always make these out of corn tortillas just because those are the type of shells I like. I know lots of people that like soft tortillas um, or don't cook their corn tortillas, but this is the way that is my absolute favorite. tortillas. I will tell you guys a story. I actually cooked these. Woo! I actually cooked these um, when I was first married all the time um, when my husband was on deployment. And what I did was I would fry up the tortilla shells like this. I would make myself like two tacos. But I would go to the store and I would get a rotisserie chicken and I would shred it up and I would get an avocado. I would like smash it up. And that was like, when I missed my husband, that was my comfort food. I know, it's so silly. So these tacos you can make even if you're a beginning cook, if you're not a very good cook, if cooking intimidates you. Um, I did it back when I burned everything and I couldn't boil water to save my life. And they were my comfort food. So, Find what you like. Find what you like to put in tacos. I like to have tomatoes or salsa. Um, my husband does not because he doesn't like tomatoes. Um, I don't like lettuce and I found that when I started asking for tacos without lettuce that I loved them way better, which I know some of you are like, tacos without lettuce, but it's just what I prefer. And so that's what I think is great about tacos. At this season of my life, Having um, ground beef tacos has been amazing because 
ground beef just seems to be easier to cook quicker than chicken, but shredding up a rotisserie chicken and making some tacos is easy too. So I've kind of been through all of it, but this is just what I'm doing for this season of my life. I always put it on a paper towel to dry and kind of get all that um, remnants of grease and all that off. Uh, I never said that this was healthy, so I know that this isn't a completely healthy dish, but it is a quick and easy meal, and I feel like everything in moderation is okay. Americanized Mexican taco. Um, be creative, put whatever you want in it, but the fried tortilla is definitely such a comfort food. And in mine, I just, um, as you saw, I put the hamburger meat and um, the cherry tomatoes, and I also just put cheese, and that's what I like. My husband always puts um, cheese, lettuce, and sour cream. That's kind of his mixture that he likes. Uh, sometimes we put salsa or salsa verde in them and they're just fun because you can make it however you want. In my family, I either serve this with Mexican rice or a side salad depending on how hungry we are or the state of the night. Um, it's actually late here and it's been a busy day so we're just gonna eat and fill our bellies and I am so excited that y'all came by and hung out. If you have any questions or need any recommendations, I'm always here and I will talk to you guys in the comments below. Thank you so much for stopping by and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications. Bye!